Ever wondered how a recession impacts the travel industry and your travel plans? Let's dive right into it. A recession sets off a chain reaction in the economy that directly influences the travel sector. When economies experience downturns, the ripple effect is felt in many forms. One of the most notable is the decline in travel demand. Why does this happen? Well, the answer lies in our pockets. A recession often means reduced disposable income for people. This, coupled with the uncertainty that comes with economic downturns, leads individuals to rethink their spending habits. As the economy tightens, so do our wallets. Luxuries like vacations and trips might seem like a distant dream when we're trying to make ends meet. But it's not just about the money. There's also a psychological element at play. In times of economic uncertainty, people tend to adopt more conservative spending habits. We start questioning whether that beach trip or city break is really necessary. The dream of sipping a cocktail on a tropical beach or exploring a bustling cityscape takes a back seat as we prioritize stability and financial security. However, despite these shifts, it's important to remember that not all travel comes to a halt during a recession. Many consumers still prioritize travel. After being cooped up at home for extended periods, people are more than ready to pack their bags and venture out into the world again. The value of vacations and the experiences they offer are appreciated now, more than ever. For many, these getaways are considered worthwhile investments, offering a much needed break from the monotony of everyday life. In fact, during past recessions, we've seen similar trends in consumer behavior. Travel might slow, but it certainly doesn't stop. People adapt, make changes, and find ways to keep their wanderlust alive, even in the face of economic adversity. But remember, even during economic downturns, vacations are still a top priority for many. The desire to experience new cultures, explore unfamiliar terrains, and make unforgettable memories remains unwavering. And that's the beauty of travel. It's resilience in the face of adversity. Even when the going gets tough, the tough keep traveling. So let's pack our bags and embrace the journey, no matter what the economic forecast might be. So how do travelers adapt to these economic changes? Well, it's quite interesting to see the shifts in behavior when the financial climate becomes a bit chilly. When the economy dips, folks naturally become more cautious with their spending. But that doesn't mean they stop traveling altogether. Instead, they make smart adjustments to their vacation plans to ensure they can still enjoy that much needed break without breaking the bank. One of the most common changes is the duration of the trip. Instead of taking a two week vacation, travelers might opt for a shorter trip. A long weekend getaway can be just as refreshing and a whole lot easier on the wallet. Next, we see a shift in the choice of destinations. Travelers are savvy and they know that some places offer more bang for their buck. So, during a recession, it's not uncommon to see people swapping expensive locales for cheaper alternatives. They're still exploring new places, immersing themselves in different cultures and making lifelong memories. But they're doing it in a way that makes financial sense. And then there's the power of technology. Price comparison platforms have become a traveler's best friend. These websites and apps allow individuals to compare prices of flights, accommodations, and even activities, helping them find the best deals out there. In a time of economic uncertainty, these platforms become even more crucial, playing a key role in planning cost-effective trips. It's also worth noting that these consumer behavior adjustments aren't new. In fact, during past recessions, we've seen similar shifts, especially in Western Europe. It seems that no matter the state of the economy, the desire to travel remains strong. Indeed, travelers are quite innovative, finding new ways to stretch their budgets and still enjoy their vacations. The spirit of exploration and adventure doesn't wane in the face of financial challenges. If anything, it becomes stronger as people find creative ways to satisfy their wanderlust without straining their finances. The journey may look a little different, but the joy of travel remains the same. What about business travel? Does it take a hit too during a recession? Well, the answer is not as straightforward as one might think. Business travel, like any other sector, is also influenced by the economic climate. However, its recovery cycle tends to be more robust compared to leisure travel. During a recession, there's a softening of labor markets and a generally weaker economic environment. This can lead to a decrease in consumer spending, which may affect leisure travel. However, the impact on business travel is generally more modest in comparison to previous downturns. The reason behind this resilience is that business travel is often viewed as a necessary expenditure rather than a discretionary one. 
companies continue to invest in travel for their employees to maintain relationships, drive sales, and stay competitive. So while a recession may bring about a temporary slowdown in business travel, it doesn't reverse the overall trend of the recovery cycle. In the face of adversity, the business travel sector remains resilient. Despite the challenges, there's a positive side to traveling during a recession. Let's explore that. In the midst of an economic downturn, it's easy to assume that canceling travel plans is the best course of action. However, if you have the means, it's worth considering the other side of the coin. During a recession, the travel industry often adjusts to the changing economic climate. One such adjustment is the reduction in rates. This means that travel can actually become more accessible. You could find yourself scoring deals on flights, accommodations, and even experiences that would have typically stretched your budget. Of course, it's not just about the potential savings. By choosing to travel during a recession, you are actively supporting businesses within the sector. These could range from airlines and hotel chains to local restaurants and small tour operators. Your decision to travel could make a significant difference to these businesses, helping them weather the storm. Now, let's consider the personal aspect of travel. Economic downturn or not, the desire to explore, to experience new cultures, and to create lasting memories remains a vital part of our lives. Travel is more than just a leisure activity. It is a way to broaden our horizons, to relax and recharge, and to connect with the world around us. In essence, travel is an investment. Not just in terms of financial resources, but an investment in ourselves. It's an investment in our well-being, our personal growth, and our understanding of the world. In summary, a recession affects travel patterns, but the desire to explore and experience new places persists. So keep exploring, keep traveling, and remember, the travel industry is resilient and well-equipped to navigate these uncertain times. In the face of economic challenges, it's important to retain a positive outlook. The world is still out there waiting for us to discover its wonders. And when we do, we not only enrich our lives, but also support an industry that brings joy and inspiration to many. Stay tuned for more bonus tips on how to recession-proof your travel plans.